to say God richly bless you all for coming to praise this occasion of her home going. We also want to express our appreciation uh, to our chairman, Apostle 
Arikia Mitchell, General Secretary of the IMD, our national head. God richly bless you. He's been there with us through thick and thin. And the national executives, all our regional heads, God richly bless you. Colleague ministers and all members of the Church of Pentecost United States and all family, friends, and loved ones. We say may the Lord richly, richly bless you all. And there are two people uh, besides me that I want to mention their name here that were the three inner circle of my wife. And her prayer partner besides me, Dr. Joyce Nyako. Dr. Joyce, are you here? Okay. And uh, her friend, Sofumame Araba Ofori, coming all the way from Ghana. God richly bless you. Uh, she was the one sitting by her when she was singing as we watch it. Came all the way from Ghana to Las Vegas just to visit her at the hospital. God richly bless you. And we appreciate you all because that is her heart desire. She appreciates every little thing that you will do for her. And always will find a way to put smiles at her face and on people's face. You wouldn't be around her and she will make you feel sad. She will always make you feel important. And that is such a precious soul that we have missed. And not in our midst this uh, morning. We all pray. And God Almighty, the one whom my sweetheart and myself said, and will continue to serve till he also takes us away from this earth. He answered our prayers. And we are seeing this. Therefore, we give him all the glory. Because as we all know as believers, she is more alive even than ever. So we don't let death discourage us. Mom was a person who had unconditional love. I was able to go to her with any problem that I had, whether it could be school matters, mental matters, or just to talk to her and share stories back and forth. She was always happy when she was around us and didn't eat just to make sure that we were eating well. But I do know you're in a better place where there's nothing but smiling and that is all I want for you is just to be happy and, and not to have to worry about anything. And I got my answer to my friend. My mother was the most selfless, loving, and funniest person I knew. We could sit together and watch sitcoms and family feud and just laugh together. Watching movies with her was an experience because I would always have to explain everything to her. Thank God for her life. It's in the Bible for you. If you don't mind. And then also one more for my father, and I tell you why. He was going back and forth, cooking, cleaning, taking care of the kids, taking care of her, back and forth. No option left unturned. No money not spent. No pain that we didn't try. Anything that he even seemed like it was a slight possibility, he put in the effort to see the best that he could do to make sure that she would be well. And that's a true testament of love. I really had a passion for love, acceptance for people from all walks of life, and unacquitable desire to always be a better man. Irene was, to say the least, an unconventional person. She would rather walk away from a winnable argument than to be contentious. It is any, it is, is it any wonder then 
that the very essence of her name, Aaron, literally means peace. As of Mami Aaron, as she was affectionately called, had passion for ministry and worked diligently with her husband and positively impacted many lives. Mrs. Aaron Osu was soft spoken with a pleasant and a warm personality. She was always beaming with smiles wherever she met people. She was loving and caring to adult youth and children and respected everyone. Church, let us be on our feet in a club offering to the Lord. Appreciate the life of our man. Oh, you can do better. You can do better. Now you can take your seat. Man, on behalf of the Church of Pentecost in Tennessee, we want to appreciate you for leaving us such a wonderful person. Aaron. The pastor's wife, Pastor for Mammy Flora, the woman, 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 the as of Mama Fua, Mo and Nayu, all the pastors know. This is our man. Let's look for her. Let's pray for her. Let's care for her. Hallelujah. Let's care for her. What a rain was here, and she was doing phone calls, occasional groups, and other things. She is a man. May the Lord be with you. May I make a cup of my heart. May I make a cup of my heart. May I make a I'd like to exhort us on the message I've entitled, We Have No Lasting City Here. But indeed, we have come to the funeral of a woman of God. She served the Lord through and through. I am glad to announce to us, that our dear mother left everything she could enjoy in this life and went outside the camp much straightforward to Jesus Christ and then surrounded all her life to the Lord Almighty. Now, the fact is that older people die, younger people die, but if we be true to ourselves, we know that it's not how long you live, but it's how good you live. John the Baptist did not live longer than Jesus, but through his ministry, he prepared the way for the Savior of the world. And John the Baptist had made a huge impact in our world. He lived very young, but had a very powerful ministry. Jesus himself, how long did he live? Though Jesus died young, but now all our lives hang on him. It is not how long you live, but how well you live. And I pray that now that the onus is on us, she has fought her battle war. It is up to you and I now to live a life worthy of our calling, so that we'll be able to shine Jesus Christ through all of our lives. Do more for the Lord. Let this one be a challenge for you, that now you will serve the Lord more than you have ever had. Let's come together as a church, because the church is the hope of the world. The church is the very place of the saints. So as the coming of the Lord draw near, we need each other. Now let's go and strengthen our bond and serve the Lord. This will not break the family. This will not break the church. The church of God is much more. Yeah. Now our faith is more strengthened. May the Lord help us. May He grant us grace, even in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, how We come to funeral and we need to pay attention to the tributes and others. You still have your wife with you. You still have your husbands with you. 
Let's continue to cherish one another. Don't take things for granted. Whether mom is here or not, whatever the Lord has said concerning your life will definitely come to pass. So do not worry. I pray against this sickness that took our mother away. I pray if by any means, by any way, it tried to find its way in any of them, we came against it in the name of Jesus. Also, I bring the whole church community into your hand. If any way the enemy tried to find a way to bring this sickness into us, we cancel and nullify it in the name of Jesus. You don't want to hear and see this sickness anymore, any longer. Father, continue to abide with us. Amen. Continue to protect this family. Be with them, guide them in everything that, that they do. Amen. Cause your face to shine upon them Amen. at all times, wherever they go. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Not a building. 
Not the fancy clothes, no kente. Or lace. She came nakedly and she is living sin. Let us love one another. Let's keep unity. And most importantly, let's raise our children very well. Out of our heart, we just want to say uh, thank you for your time and the support, for the love and the kindness you've shown us uh, through this difficult time. Uh, I know that uh, everybody is going through something, but yet you have shown you're taking time to show us love and, and the prayers and your support and your calling, your text messages, and everything. Uh, we truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, we know that wherever our mom is, uh, she's happy, she's smiling down at us from heaven. We are grateful for her life. We are grateful for your life. God bless you all for your support and everything that you've done for us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Nancy, <laughs> Words to me always was Ma, and that I take it to heart now that you're doing it. And I would do my best to, to do that as God helped me. On behalf of uh, my family, uh, the Olisi family, we would like to take this opportunity uh, to thank you all, especially when my wife was sick and you all joined us together in prayer praying for her to get well, but we know the prayers have been answered and the Lord has given her rest from her labor and from her pain and from her toil and all that she went through. And now we believe that she is at a better place, that there is no more pain, there is no more sorrow, there is no more hardship. And that is where we all want to be in the future. That is what, why we are all serving the Lord to be there one day in the future. So if she has taken the lead, we have nothing against our Lord. We want to say thank you, Lord, because we understand that this is not our permanent home. This is a transit place. And by the grace of God, she has reached that permanent home. So we would like to take this opportunity that you all make it a point that you are also going to be there one day because it's going to be joyous. And we're waiting for our turn, the time that the Lord will call us hope that we will also be welcome over there in heaven just as he has been welcomed. Uh, so, if you are listening to me and you do not know the Lord, make the Lord Jesus your Lord and personal Savior, so that one day when you die, you will also be welcome home. Because you don't want to die and you say, had I known. That is all that she led her life for, so that souls will be born to the glory of God. So wherever that you are, as you listen to me, make the Lord uh, the Lord of your soul. So on behalf of my family, once again, we'd like to say thank you all for coming to grace this occasion, this ongoing ceremony of my dear wife. And uh, we want to say God richly bless you all for your prayers, for your presence, for your gifts that you have lavished on us. God richly bless you all.